Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots' YouTube channel, directly supporting the Grumman Pilots Association. Yes, and you're looking at the center section of a torque tube. Leg number one, leg number two, it's all out of the airplane. This is one of the first pieces to go in the airplane, so you can imagine how much fun it is to get one out and replace it. Actually, taking it out is a lot easier than putting the new one in, but we have the new one in. We'll show that in a minute. But we had to actually cut this one off to get it off the airplane. We were able to salvage um, the core of the um, front strut, and we have that right over here. Stand by. And we have the strut. However, the pitting on the spindle and the pitting on the upper surface renders this new strut uh, unairworthy for aircraft, which is why we ordered a new one when we ordered the front strut because we pretty much knew that it was all going to be corroded up in here. Here's the new strut all in place. It's been bolted and torqued into place. Uh, we have not done the final assemblies on it. We're going to talk about that right now. Since this is a has shock absorbers, the 77, 78, and 79s have this heat shield right here which goes up around the front torque tube. Inside of it go these um, fabric or baffle sealed baffles which go around the torque tube. Uh, stand by. Okay, so now we have the shields in place and they serve one purpose is so that when this tube goes on this box stand so the trick is is to get all of this back together up around there and the shields in place which they are not but that's the fun we're going to be having inside so let me take the shields out and then nominally this just slides up over the, the whole strut assembly. Comes in, bolts to the firewall around here. We have a cap back here, and the shields sit around the inner part. So that's what we're going to go put back in the airplane right now and try to get all this reassembled. Stand by. All right, that's it for that. Okay, so we're back here at the shield house. We have a cap that goes on the inside of the little shield house it's held on by four screws and then the shields go around on the outside you can actually see the indent in the shield from the previous installation on the flange so we'll be installing these around the torque tube up inside so now we're going to go ahead and put the um, little heat shield box back in place and what this does on the 77 78s and 79s it prevents the hot air from the cowling to coming up to where the torque tube is and flooding the cabin what feels like cabin heat. So this whole blocking assembly is just to keep the hot air of the cowling on the proper side of the firewall. And we hope you found this informative and thanks for watching.